Hi, everyone. Welcome back to As One Guidance. Jason and Chris. Hi, everyone. What do, we, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, today I want to talk about uh, stimming and so, how ours have uh, changed over the years. It's um, an expression that autistic people have uh, in regards to just their um, feelings and energy. So stimming, for example, would be like rocking back and forth pacing um oh, like cracking your knuckles like things like that, that consistently um <laughs> that 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 uh are to support you in grounding so essentially the theory is that um we or a fidget a fidgeting thing like uh there's all kinds of different ones so I'll go over some that I had when a kid and some that I have now so when I was a child something that um I had sensory needs and stimming needs one of them was like sucking my thumb. I, I sucked my thumb for a ridiculously long time. Were you a teenager? I don't, I'm close. Were you a senior in high school? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. It wasn't, no, okay. no. I um I stopped sucking my thumb after I got my braces off. So I had to get braces because I sucked my thumb and my teeth were like coming out of my mouth. Uh, literally like if I closed my mouth, my teeth were like, so yeah, because yeah, I suck my thumb all the time. Okay. And so like um I uh my parents got braces for me and I even sucked my thumb through having my braces. I stopped doing it in social settings because I realized you get made fun of. Um, but like I would do it at night or at bedtime. And uh I actually stopped because the retainer, when I got the retainer back then we got I don't know if you get them now, but like we get retainers that you put in after your braces come out and it like kind of sticks to the top of your mouth. Well, that wasn't allowing me to put my thumb in my favorite this spot. Is like way too much information. Oh, it is. I think so. Well, that's why. That's how my. That's how my thumb sucking stopped. Okay. I got yelled at a lot. My parents tried a lot of different things, like they put Tabasco sauce on my thumb. Okay. <laughs> now we're getting good. Right, what else you got? Uh, they put duct tape. Like duct tape. <laughs> yeah, it was the eighties. Duct tape your thumb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, they tried all kinds of things to get me to stop sucking my thumb. Like, nothing. I'm hearing this for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> nothing worked. Um, and so there's that. Like, that was one of my you know comfort items that brought me comfort and nurturing. Um. Again, 80s and 90s, female autism, like they just didn't know what was going on. Um, and so that didn't work. I think pickle juice was another one, like, all kinds of stuff. Okay. And um, it just didn't work. I, I didn't care. And so that, you know, uh, happened. Another one would be uh, rubbing your feet together at night, like um, just like r consistently rubbing your feet together is a very common one. Uh, fidgeting with a pencil, like constantly clicking it. If you're in a meeting, that's a stimming um, one. I think that there's all kinds of different ones like that. Essentially, it's the energy needs to be our grounded. We need to like to keep our brain functioning. From what I understand from a book I'm reading, when you keep your brain functioning, you have to um, keep yourself in like the real the moment in real time. And doing these kind of things helps us process and like maintain presence uh i just naturally do it i don't necessarily i'm not a scientist in autism i don't i just know what i do um i moved from sucking my thumb to twirling my hair like this twirling hair or um biting my nails was one that i did i cracked my ankles those are all considered um stimming and so okay. what about you babe well i unbeknownst to me like uh, I, I had to like tell him before the I video started. I, could, I literally <laughs> just cracked my <laughs> yeah. um, cracking my knuckles, uh, yeah. cracking my neck. Um, I would like chew on my knuckle when I was a, when I was a kid. Um, you pace. Oh, I pace all the time, especially when I think, like if I'm thinking or mm -hmm. whatever, uh, or just like working through something, like. I'll do laps around the kitchen island, uh, right? Yeah, you do. Um, mm -hmm. I you play with your ring a lot. I play with yeah, just like fidget. I think just it's like a fidgeting fidget toy with for anything. Him. Like mm -hmm. uh, I fidget with my ring, or if I have a pen or something like or anything really to fidget with, I'll fidget with it. Right. Um. Those are probably like the the. The most mm -hmm. like 
uh, you know, things that I can recall. Yeah, and like, um, there's always other other things you can do about getting to a different different stimming. Like for example, the sucking my thumb. The parents didn't really understand why I was doing it, so they couldn't get to the root cause to heal it, right? Or change it. You can't really. It's got to come out in some way. But something that I found later in life that really helps is like holding a rock or a crystal or um, uh, just holding something sometimes brings me great comfort. And so like I always have like crystals around the house or I always put one around. I used to carry one in my pocket. Um, but having that to hold uh, really helps me uh, feel better. And so that might be a technique that um, some of you might want to try. But whatever works for you, if it doesn't harm the person, if it's not causing um, any kind of issue, I know a lot of autistic children when they're little, they flap their hands. Um, what research has said is just allow it, like, because there's nothing that uh, that really is gained by not allowing them to do it. Unless it's like hot Like self-harming, of course. Yeah, self-harming mm -hmm. things. But like, um, you want to kind of redirect that energy. But it's, uh, it's, I don't think it ever goes away. You, we just get really... I think we just get better at like uh, probably masking, masking or it like or making it less making uh, it look ordinary or something. Yeah, or like making it less distracted to others in the room, especially if we're in a meeting or something. I can stay in a meeting for about an hour, and it doesn't matter where I'm at. Hours. You know, interestingly, my like mm -hmm. if we're in meetings, I'm normally screwing around with something, and yeah. you constantly tell me to stop. <laughs> yeah that's true okay. that's very true yeah and uh in meetings if i get too frustrated if they're longer than an hour i usually start doodling or making notes or i look like i'm making notes but i'm really doodling just because i need to activate energy to stay present hmm. so there you go that's our stimming experience uh we hope you enjoyed it <laughs> <laughs> see you next time bye guys